LEGO has come out with a ton of castle collectible minifigures, so I'm going to highlight them all. Now first off, there are a bunch of CMFs that are more historical than castle, so I'm going to highlight those in another video. To break up these figures nicely, I divided them up into six categories. The first category I'm going to call the Forest Dwellers, which surprisingly all have connections to original themes. There were three CMFs that mentioned two original Forest Dwelling factions in their bios. The Forest Man came in Series 1 in 2010. Clearly an updated Forest Men figure, the Forest Men are mentioned in his bio. The Forest Maiden is from Series 9 and came out in January of 2013. She is another figure that mentions the Forest Men. While we're mentioning the Forest Men, the Rogue that came in Series 16 in 2016 mentions the Forest Men and the Wolf Pack that he is a part of in his bio. The Elf from Series 3 and the Elf Maiden from Series 17 are a part of the Never Made family fantasy era faction called Elflands. The second category I'm gonna call the Raiders. Two figures were a throwback to the 2005 Viking theme. The Viking came out in Series 4, which was released in 2011. Also, the Viking Woman, who came out in Series 7, which was released in 2012. I consider the Viking LEGO theme its own faction more like Fantasy Era, and not a historical theme, which is why they made the list. From the Upper North comes the Snow Guardian, who came in Series 22, which was released in 2022. A mischievous creature. The Goblin came in Series 13. A throwback to the Troll faction from Fantasy Era. The Orc came in Series 24. The third category is the Dwarves. These two are both references to the Dwarf faction from the Fantasy Era theme. The first one is the Evil Dwarf that came in Series 5, released in 2011. He has the same helmet as the 2008 Dwarfs, and his bio mentions the Dwarf Kingdom. The other is the Battle Dwarf that came in Series 17. The Troll faction is mentioned in his bio. It also says he is a part of the Boar Clan, which could mean multiple factions of Dwarfs. So that's pretty cool. The fourth category is Knights of the Land. No surprise, but there have been many knights that have come out in CMF waves. Heroic Knight came in Series 9 in January 2013. This figure is very similar to the Crown Knights of Fantasy Era. The Evil Knight came out in Series 7, released in 2012. His bio mentions Cedric the Bull, Fladdock, and even Basil the Batlord. The Frightening Knight, or as many call him, a Bear Knight, came out in 2016, in Series 15. According to his bio, he's a former member of the Fright Knights. Speaking of the Fright Knights, the Fright Knight, a ghostly member of the Fright Knights faction, came out in Series 19. Another throwback to original themes, the Falconer from Series 24 is a reference to the Black Falcon faction. The Tournament Knight, or as Castle fans have dubbed him, the Raven Knight, came out in Series 20 in 2020. Now even though this figure is just wearing a costume, the Knight of the Yellow Castle is outfitted to be a really good knight and is a throwback to the OG Yellow Castle Crown Knight. The fifth group is the Magic Users. The Wizard was released in 2014, a part of Series 12. To go against the Wizard was the Evil Wizard that was in Series 13. And one that goes great with the Snow Guardian is the Ice Queen. She came out in Series 16 in 2016. The final group is the Royal Court. The Troubadour, one of the best civilian figures ever made, came out in Series 22. The Classic King, the best king ever made, came out in Series 13, which was released in 2015. And every king needs a queen. She came out in Series 15 in 2016. And what's a court without a jester? The jester came out in Series 12. Also in Series 12 was the Fairy Tale Princess. And that's a brief summary of every LEGO Castle collectible minifigure. I'll be doing deeper dives into these figures and into their bios in other videos, so hit that subscribe button for more LEGO Castle content.